What's up guys, welcome back to another deck boat build. You guys hear that? That's the sound of spring right around the corner. And I need to hurry up and get this done so I can go fishing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off and get ready to paint. So let's do that right now. All right, we got our wood and fiberglass primer ready to go and we're gonna apply it. Um, I'm just gonna do the wall and step today and uh, then I'm gonna go work on the shocks. So let's get going. There she is, I got one coat of primer on there. I laid it on pretty thick. I don't wanna to have to put another one on. I think I got a pretty good base coat on there. And uh, I'm also going to be spraying bed liner on this, so I think one coat should get the job done. Okay, now that I got that primer going, I'm going to open up these shocks. Uh, I still got the old ones just in case. I'm going to see if these work. Hopefully they do. I'm going to get them installed real quick and show you how this door works. So let's open them up. Well guys, I'm gonna call it a night. I'll see you back here tomorrow. I'm gonna do a lot of research and try to figure out how to solve this issue. I'm thinking I might have to combine one of these shocks with the bigger shock and that would probably put it right where I need it. But the trick is getting it to close all the way. I need to uh, do some research and think about this and figure out how I'm gonna get this to work better. So, don't go nowhere. I'll be right back tomorrow. I came up with an idea to uh, try to get this uh, shock to work. So, let's jump right into it and see if I can get it fixed. I need to, I need to lower that probably about half an inch and I think I'm only going to need this one shock Okay guys, now that I got all of that taken care of, I got some parts I can return. So it's gonna be some cash back in my pocket. I'm gonna return the shorter gas struts and keep the longer one and I only need one because it's enough force to drive this thing up. So I'm just gonna keep that one. Okay, now that I got that gas shock figured out, I'm going to take off the piano hinges and start disassembling the deck for it and get it ready for painting. So let's get that going.
took everything apart, got it down to bare bones. Um, I'm going to leave these four screwed in and paint them on the boat. I know that's probably a mistake, but I really don't want to move those and cause any kind of uh, mistake off balance based off of the frame that I built for this boat. I don't want to move those main support brackets, so I'm going to leave those there and paint them on the boat. Um, I cleaned up a little bit. I didn't want to bore you guys too much with that. Here's some of the framing and all of the parts over here are ready to paint. Uh, this is dried since I painted it. I need to paint the other side. I'm just waiting for the uh, Kansas weather to cooperate. So I can get back out there and do some more painting when it's warm. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming boat deck builds. I got a lot to do still, but it's really coming along and things are starting to come together. And hopefully I can get this done before the spring bass spawn. So stay tuned. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors video. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you guys later.